YouTube friends, so welcome back. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Please like, comment, share, um, all that good stuff. So today I want to talk about five string bass guitars versus six strings or six string bass guitar versus five string. So I got the six string in my hand right now and I want to talk about advantages, disadvantages, and that good stuff. So first thing off is you see plenty of strings and with plenty of strings, you have plenty of notes. So you have more area to of coverage um, for for you know expandability on you know if you're playing like um, solo and ideas, um, if you're playing you know if you're warming up on scales, you could do you know instead of having to shift so much to play like uh, maybe a two octave scale, you could stay like within one area. So I'll do a demonstration of that. octaves just with staying with, within this area of the bass um, you, you really can't do that on a four or five string instrument so that's the kind of advantage you have you don't have to do too much shifting as, as long as you know the notes right uh, from from the B to the to the C the high C string um, which let me um, explain that it's tuned from B low B E a, D, G, which is the standard tune in a four string right in the middle, and then high C at the at the top. So yeah, you just get more coverage, and you know it's it's good, you know, especially when you're soloing and you don't want to be jumping around and you want to like, you know, kind of really exercise that economy of motion. Um, it's it's really good for that kind of stuff. Um, the next thing is um, the clarity in the cut in the mix. So you know. Bass frequencies tend to be obviously in the lower end, and it could be kind of muddy, like especially if you are playing with a a key a, a keyboardist or a pianist that is playing like in your territory, and you don't want to be disrespectful and be like, "Hey man, stop playing in my territory," like let me cover the low end, because sometimes you have those keyboard players that wanna be banging in the the low end. So with with this. Like especially if you're going with the sol going for a solo, you know, if you just had a four string bass, you might have to go all the way up here and play. And sometimes it could be uncomfortable because the frets are smaller up here. So with the six string, um, instead of you know soloing in the low end, you could be soloing in the high end, right? Just within, just staying down here. So. within within range and you know still get your bass to cut in the mix you know what i mean still get the bass to sound good in the mix and i think that's the biggest thing for me personally i um, in my opinion i feel like the biggest thing is um being able to have clarity and definition while especially like when i'm doing solo and ideas if i'm just playing in the high register or in the high register i want to be able to have that definition um, in the mix because it's easy to get lost with the low frequencies in the mix especially when you're trying to solo it just sounds like a big muffle so being able to have those frequencies that actually cut right because now the high c string that you don't have on your five string i mean you could have it on the five string right if you tune from e to c but like on a conventional five string just from low b to g you don't have that high c so you have it on the six string right getting that nice cut and blend so that's one of the things in my opinion that is that is really good with the six string the next thing is um chords and the clarity in chords right you can get some nice clarity and some nice extensions chord extensions um on a six string right you get nice cut Right, so you get really nice clarity and cut on a six string um, when you're playing chords. And you might be like, why should I be playing chords when we have a, a, a piano player? I mean, sometimes you want to do, you know, you might want to play solo, right, by yourself. And you might want to just add some movement. Right, and the, and the thing is too for me when I the, the the thing that drove me to get a get a six string was because I wanted to understand 
how chords work, right? Without having to learn piano. So I was like, you know what? I know how to play bass. I'm pretty good at it. Um, and I was like, why not just get a six string bass guitar? And so that way I could be able to learn chord theory and understand movement. And that's good for harmony training, right? And your air training. Especially when you're solo and stuff like that. So I got the six string, you know, out of just being able to have the experience and exposure to, you know, learn chords and play chords and understand them. And the six string really helped me um, learn chords and understand the theory behind the chords. So it's awesome for that. So the other thing about the six string is just, I would say the overall resonance. So if you listen to the low B string on this bass, it just has that piano-like attack, that immediate attack like a piano that, like, and it just, it feels great too. Like when I'm playing down here, it just feels nice under my fingers. All the notes are clear. The, 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 the frequencies are very accurate and true. I mean, I, I get it. Like, you know, it depends on, you know, what bass you got, of course it does, right? Because not every bass have great electronics. But for the most part, just generally speaking, the low B on a six string, in my opinion, sounds the best on the six string. I have a Smith five string, which I will demonstrate in a, a bit for the five string, when I talk about five strings. But the low B on this one, in my opinion, sounds better. So just the overall clarity that you get because the width of the neck, and you know, it's just, you know, this one is pretty wide and just like, you know, the bigger body, the, everything's bigger on the six string, right? So you just get more resonance. It, the, the, the bigger the body, just think about like a hollow body guitar, right? Like it has that big body. So you get that nice tone because there's more um, vibration feel for the string. So when you pull, you get a really nice resonance from the strings because it's just more feel for the strings to resonate and vibrate in. And so you get that nice lush tone um, and on this bass, it's very piano-like. It's like if I hit the key on the piano on the low end and I get that sustain and I get that attack and I get that, that just true accurate frequencies. And that's something I really appreciate from the six string that I don't get from the five string. So now, for no further ado, I'm gonna talk about the five string. Let me switch over. Okay guys, I'm back with the five string. So I wanna talk about the advantages of the five string. So the five string, the first advantage um, or I guess the first, you know, pro about a five string versus the six string is the, is the neck. You know, the neck is not as big and wide and bulky um, as six string. So that's why you see a lot of players, a lot, a lot of top players. And I, I always wonder why they're not just, why just don't get a six string? If they want that high C on, on the bass, why just don't get a six string so you won't lose that low B as well? But I've noticed, but I know you could drop two, but I'm just talking about in the sake of just like, just having a low beat. But I've noticed a lot of players, you know, top players, jazz guys, you know, who play electric bass and stuff. They, they go for like, you know, the five string and they tune from E to C, high C, right? So then I realized that, oh, it's because of the neck. Like it may be other reasons, but the one of the major reasons is the neck. Like you, you, you still have the comfort, the comfortability of, of, of a smaller neck compared to six string, right? Some people don't like that bulky neck and they can't move around as fast on a bulky neck. You know what I mean? Especially a longer scale and all that stuff. So it's really fast, right? It's really fast. This neck is really fast. I know this is a boutique bass. But this neck kind of reminds me of like a, 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 a kind of thinner profile um, jazz bass. Um, the, the, the spacing of the nut is a little bit thin, uh, narrower than uh, most five strings that I've played before, but it's fast. All right, let's check the low B. And you could pause the video and go back to the, the six string I just did and, and, and kind of compare the two, but here's a low B on the five string. It's pretty decent for a five string, but if you go back and rewind the video to the six string, I guarantee you the six string has more of a just accurate and just like sustain that just can't get from any other, uh, any other bass. Um, 
yeah so the next thing with the you know with the with the five string is you know fewer notes compared to the six string um just organically depletes you from noodling as much like i feel like when you have more notes at least for me when i have more notes if i don't discipline myself to not noodle around i would find myself noodling around because there's just so many notes and the 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 the, the um five string kind of uh puts a restriction on all this noodling around and stuff because it's fewer notes and you know a four string is even puts more more even a restriction to like just groove and you know stay in the pocket and just do things that you know just meat and potatoes kind of stuff so that's that's the thing with the with the five string that i, I would say as is a pro that it kind of just keeps you like grooving and it keeps you like you get the kind of the best of the both worlds because you could still have access to good soul and ideas because you could you know tune from e to c and get you know those nice sweet higher notes that will cut in the mix and you know blend and all that good stuff so yeah i mean that's that's one, that's a, a thing about the five string that i think is is really good um the only the only thing i would say is um you know if you're tuning from e to c you're losing that low b string and you know the b string is is really obviously popular in modern music you just need that low string but the, the other thing you could do as, as a tip is if you're tuning from you know high c to, to low e you could actually drop that e to like d or something or whatever you know what I mean? But that may re make you rethink your playing and stuff like that, right? Because if you're used to like tuning in fours and only playing in fours, then now you gotta have to rethink your playing because you're, you're tuned a half step down or a whole step down. So yeah, just have to be aware of that. But yeah, other than that, I hope I covered everything um, regarding pros and cons of the of, of the five string and six string. And, um, you know, I just wanted to give a fair e e examination of you know the differences and you know the advantages the disadvantages um regarding um the five string and the six string um and one more other thing actually before i leave i didn't mention it so on the on the six string um let me bring it back here real quick on the six string you want to be careful with mutant so the thing is since you have more strings, you will have more strings, you know, tending to, you know, open, right? Play open. So you want to be able to mute the strings, right? Especially when you're playing, you know, all the way up, you know, when you're playing on the, on the higher string, the C string, you want to be able to mute the other strings while playing. So that's, that's kind of like a disadvantage in a sense, because now you got to be careful, really careful with your technique because it, 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 will not sound good if you have free other frequencies just like scrambling in the in, in, while you're playing up high or something and it may clash with what you're playing with so that's another thing you gotta develop your your muting skills it could be an advantage because it probably could get you better right if you develop you know your muting skills so i wouldn't really even look at it as a, a disadvantage it's probably more of an advantage than a disadvantage um at first it probably is a disadvantage but after a while after you develop that and you get accustomed to it then you could even apply it to the five string, right? And have a cleaner, a cleaner sound and a cleaner approach. So that's all I want to talk about today, guys. So I'll let you all uh, enjoy the rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video.